Welcome to the Daily Connection. I'm David Turner. I'm a Connect Group leader here at First Baptist Church of Van Cleve. We are reading through God's Word. This year, we want to read every word. We pray that you have joined us. If you have not joined today, start that we might get through all of God's Word, His wisdom, His truth for our lives. It's an owner's manual for the, for the human life. And God has provided it to us. We are so very fortunate to have it. We should include it every day in what we do. Today we're looking at Proverbs chapters 11 through 13. The wisdom of the Bible. The wisdom of God. The book of wisdom. There's so many things that we learn here that we can turn to Proverbs. Again, I've heard pastors say that two things you can do every day of the month. You can read five psalms. And every month you can read through the book of Psalms. And every day you read one proverb. And every month you read through the book of Proverbs. How better to live a life than reading Psalms and Proverbs every day for the rest of your lives. Then you add it to our one year chronological Bible where you read the rest of scriptures. And you are deeply involved in God's word. And you will carry it wherever you go. We look at Proverbs 11 today. Proverbs 11 contrasts the wicked from the upright. Starting with verse 2, we read, When pride comes, then comes dishonor. But with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will guide them. But the crookedness of the treacherous will destroy them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. Have you ever asked someone or someone ever asked you, are you saved? A noted Bible scholar was going between classes once on a college campus and a student came up to him and said, are you saved? And his answer was, saved from what? The student was dumbfounded. The student didn't have an answer. But right here, Proverbs 11, verse 4, it says, Riches do not profit in the day of wrath. That's what we're saved from. The wrath of God. The wrath of God. If we do not know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, the day we die is when we will face the wrath of God. If we know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we will never, never see the wrath of God. Because we have been saved. Proverbs chapter 12. The contrast, again, of the upright from the wicked. Starting with verse 1. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge. Hmm. But he who hates reproof is stupid. Reproof, correction. A person who hates to be corrected is stupid. Sometimes I'm asked, well, you always think you're right. And it's like, well, I try not to be wrong. But if I am wrong, please correct me. Because I want to be right. I do not want to be wrong. Verse 2, chapter 12 of Proverbs. A good man will obtain favor from the Lord, but he will condemn a man who devises evil. We seek favor from God, but at the same time, let's call things as they are. If a person who is seeking or devising planning evil, let us not hesitate to call it evil. If we know through God's word, through the leadership of the Holy Spirit, it is wrong. Let us speak out. Because right here, Proverbs tells us, but he, the, the upright, will condemn a man who devises evil. 
chapter 13. Again, contrast of the upright and the wicked, starting with verse 1. A wise son accepts his father's discipline, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. Again, does not listen to correction. But the fruit of a man's by the way, from the fruit of a man's mouth, he enjoys good. But the desire of the treacherous is violence. From the fruit of a man's mouth, he enjoys good. But the desire of the treacherous is violence. You cannot be treacherous if you are a son of God, if you are seeking to know God, a daughter of God, children of God. We seek to know God. We spend time in his word. We are led by the spirit. Let us be those who, because of the fruit that flows from our mouth based on the word of God, we enjoy good. In verse 3, chapter 13, the one who guards his mouth preserves his life. The one who opens wide his lips continues to ruin. Jesus told his disciples in John chapter 15, verse 10, If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Let us abide in Christ. Let us abide in his word. And let us live a life sent to a lost world that needs to know the good news of Jesus Christ.